Yeah, I heard Kevin Gates say, oh, Peter Nissen, you know, Boosie probably don't like that. And that's probably a reason why they'll never work together. Because uh, Boosie could feel like you're supposed to be loyal to me. I don't know who gave you that, that song. If you get in the way, you know, you're gonna run away. Something like that when uh, Kevin Gates was rapping like he was Jamaican. He had the dreads and all that there. And I think they got another song together. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, man. You know, um, that's what I think divided them. You know what I'm saying? It made, them, it made Boosie like fall back on them. You know, like you playing both sides. You can't really play both sides. Nothing bad and rude like, nah, not when the homicide been involved, not when it's real. But uh, um, I ain't here to talk about the message that he was talking about with the buddy trying to take himself out. You know, that's his people business. But uh, but he definitely true what he said though, right? But if Nissy was still alive, ooh, he'd be a rich man. He'd be BWA. Oh yeah, that's for shit show. He'd be BWA. Yeah, he'd be an artist or he'd be doing movies or he'd just be, cause he had character like, and he was smart. Like Nissy was ahead of his time. Like Nissy was buying real estate. He was buying land. He was buying, he was doing movies back then before it got cool. He didn't need no big major deal to do that. He was already on that. He was just ahead of his time. Like he was doing that stuff before it got cool. Buying all that land. Like he was on that thugging and loving the DVD. All that land was his. Yeah, all that land was his. So yeah, that was, he was making big moves back then. So imagine if he got the knowledge that's today out here today with the help of Kevin Gates and himself, because he'll be a boss on his own. You see what I'm saying? The BWA would put him in another position, but he he was already a boss on his own. So he'll definitely be a man now. I can't really say he'll still be rapping, you know what I'm saying? Because he'll find so many other lanes. He'll get a bit bad just talking online and pushing that line, man, because it'll come so easy for him. His lifestyle, his life story, just so uh, astronaut status, man. Like, it's just another level, man, need to be heard. Like, his opinion on different things that's going on in the rap industry or the streets. Bad Rouge, like, yeah, he went up, man. I'm telling you. So, uh, but, you know, he got his life took him. You understand? Um, and he only got his life ticket because he was just reachable. He was too reachable. Like, he still stayed in that same house. Everybody know you stay in that house. Like, uh, he didn't move around the right way. Like, he'll move the right way as far as like keeping a pistol and stuff like that and being on point and stuff like that. But when, when them hitters know your address, like, you live in the house, that's why it's way more safer to live in an apartment or high rising that's what i mean when i say apartment like like apartments they got like four levels five levels they got elevators like it's hard to get to them you, you got to come through that door because you ain't gonna put no gun to the back of the window and shoot them in the back of no head that ain't gonna happen so that's why a lot of successful people they got condos high rises they have moved downtown uptown whatever uh or they, they have a mansion where they got a big gate or a whole bunch of security or something like that you ain't gonna just be, you ain't gonna be no like, you can just walk up to the window, put the gun to the window, and just handle your business, or just catch them coming outside like that. You can catch anybody coming outside, but you know, it's just so easy. You can just be parked right there, and as soon as you come out, you got them. Like, nah. But, you know, he didn't have nobody to tell him, like, hey, man, you gotta move to the A. You gotta move to this spot, that spot. Because, hey, man, Boosie, he, he, he done sent that money out, allegedly. He done sent that demon out. He coming, he gunning, he ain't playing no games, and he got good aim. You know what I'm saying? But, nah, I ain't gonna lie, nah. This ain't no disrespect to Kevin Gates, nah. You know what I'm saying? I don't want him feeling no type of way. But, if I was under Boosie, if I was under Boosie, if I would've seen Kevin Gates, I would've gave him the business. I would've put that pistol on because you picked the wrong side. I if I would've caught him slipping, I would've caught him slipping. Now, I ain't gonna be just looking for him. But if I catch him slipping, now, if I just see him out and he's out and about, I ain't going to, you know what I'm saying? But if I catch him slipping late night at a real light, I'm going to handle that duh. And I'm going to just tell, I'm going to go back to the boss man and say, man, I did that duh. I know you ain't tell me to, to do that duh, but I still did that duh because, hey, man. Nah, man, we, I just, you know, that was a personal one. You know what I'm saying? I felt that you ain't like that. So I just handled that duh. You ain't had to say nothing to me. That's the type, that's the type of stuff I would have done for him. And vice versa, if I was a nussy, it ain't no different. Or I'm a Kevin Gay partner. ain't no different. But they'll say it ain't that serious. They'll lie and say it ain't that serious or it never was no issue. And it could it could be true, but it just seemed like it is some tensions. Cause what's stopping y'all from doing the record? Like, it ain't no issue, but y'all won't do no record. 
Now you say the Fredo Bang thing. You say that. Yeah, Fredo Bang. Let's 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 skip Kevin Gates right quick. Cause one thing about Kevin Gates too, before we get to Fredo Bang, Kevin Gates, you is a legend. You a real one, man. Like um, you definitely one of the kings of Baton Rouge. Like you definitely can say you the king of Baton Rouge. You definitely can say that you put on for Baton Rouge. You definitely can say that you took Baton Rouge to another level. You know what I'm saying? And Baton Rouge will never die as long as Kevin Gates alive. You understand that, Kevin? Baton Rouge will never die as long as Kevin Gates alive. You're a good man. You're a king. Allah, he love you, man. He love you, man. I ain't gonna lie. You one of his favorite children that rap. I ain't gonna say you one of his favorite children of all. No, ooh, 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 ooh. you ain't one of the, I can't say that now because I ain't Muslim. But you one of his favorite that, that rap. You know what I'm saying? You uh, definitely push that agenda real good and real well. And you, you know, uh, you do it like it's supposed to be done. Understand? Um, you go back to the roots. That's what a lot like about you, Kevin. You go back to the roots. See them other Muslims. They don't be. They stay in America. They don't go to the other land. They don't try to go to the roots of it and get the respect from over there and get the lessons and the teachings from over there. That makes you different. So they won't understand when you put the feather. When you whatever you do, they won't understand it. But they ain't got to because we Aquarius. We Aquarius, so they ain't got to. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, you gonna win anyway. You Aquarius. How you gonna lose when you Aquarius? <laughs> We in the age of Aquarius. We in the age right now, the new world order, the age of uh, ask Biden, ask, ask any Trump, ask any of the, ask the Freemasons that we not in the age of Aquarius. So how you gonna lose? You know what I'm saying? So, but with Fredo Bang, if you wanna work with Boosie so much, why won't you just pay the tab that uh, old buddy old? Ain't number about 15,000, 10,000. Man, go ahead and pay that, man. You gonna make the money back. Man, go ahead and pay the 10,000, 15,000, whatever, and then handle your business and move on. We ain't gonna know. We don't know if y'all come back to, if y'all uh, do the song, but there ain't gonna be no negative against you. I ain't gonna make the video say, man, Fredo Bang a sucker for a pain. Now I would never pay the nah, man. That's your partner pay his tab. I'm stopping no Baton Rouge history for no little bit of money, man. 10,000, 15,000. Now, if it was 40, 50, 30, no. But 10, 15, come on, man. Come on, man. Like, just go ahead and do a little promo or sign some autographs for about 10 bands and get it to Boosie, man. You ain't gotta do nothing but sign some autograph for about 8 grand, 10 grand. Yeah, the boozy man. Hey, man. Pay your dog tab, man. <laughs> if the shoe was on the other foot and Boosie really wanted to work with you, he would have paid that down. That you've been a top rapper and all he got to do is pay 10 grand. And you're a top rapper and you can definitely make him another 100 grand. Of, man, he would have paid that. I'm telling you. That's why he's telling you. Go ahead and clear that tab and be good. You got to do that sometimes, man. Like, But you'll go buy a Birkin for a little female. Or you'll... Um, Take a shopping or you'll do that now when you can make money with this right here. And it's a good look from Baton Rouge. It ain't really about the money, it's a good look. And you wanna do the songs with them. You wanna link with them. So yeah, man. Well you can not pay nothing, then it is what it is, man. Like if it ain't genuine, then hey man, F it. You know what I'm saying? You good with young boy. So shh, that's a big step. That's a big step. So I mean all y'all kings, man. Fredo, Boosie, Kevin Gates, Nutsy, all y'all legends, all y'all king, young boy. Oh, y'all, that's one thing y'all cannot argue. A lot of y'all BR guys, a lot of y'all kings and legends, but y'all won't come together all the way. It don't even be y'all, it be somebody else in the clique. You know what I'm saying? One of them knuckleheads, one of them steppers, one of them demons, one of them thieves, one of them heroin junkies, man. One of them heroin junkies. When y'all start doing heroin in Baton Rouge, y'all late. Yeah, start doing that. Yeah, that was never, man, y'all was never doing that back then. Young Bleed never talked about dog food. I had, I bought all Young Bleed CDs, man. I've been buying everything come out of New Orleans, man. So you can't, y'all you know, were talking about that back then, man. Y'all just now and then now, y'all gonna be, y'all gonna skip the good hair on days. Y'all was supposed to be shooting up back then. Now y'all don't fit now. How y'all gonna skip the real, the good hair on? Y'all missed the arrow. Y'all missed the arrow. That 98, 99, 2000, 2001, two, yeah, y'all missed that. Now y'all don't fit now. Come on, man. And that's what got y'all stealing. That was the other couple of guys I was stealing from Boosie and trying to come up with your own ideas to make it seem right in your head. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. You know your partner was wrong. You know your partner was wrong. He took that money trying to make some extra bands. It ain't how it work, man. It ain't how it work. There's no way I could be on the sauce walker and I, I get him a verse. The dude charged, sauce say he charged 15000 You know what I'm saying? The dude give me 15000 and I take 5,000. Like, come on, man, that's sauce money. He didn't give it to me. He gave it to me to give it to sauce. I gotta give sauce the whole 15,000. 
Now, if sauce charge is fifteen thousand, and I say, well, uh, sauce charge twenty thousand, he give me twenty. That's my five. I don't gotta tell sauce I charge him twenty. I just gotta give him his fifteen. Then you can take the five. I ain't stealing. Then I ain't stealing. You say you trying fifteen. You told me that's the price. So anything extra, that's mine. You ain't do it like that. So y'all trying to bring up spark? We don't care about that. Y'all trying to bring up all these Baton Rouge people, all that, man, that, that stuff on the whole way in Baton Rouge. There ain't no algorithm for that, so we ain't going to get that no light. You know what I'm saying? We're going to shut all that down. You ain't finna uh, tip, uh, boost it down, or boost the character down with no spark. Come on, man. So, uh, uh, y'all still got some work to be done in Baton Rouge, man, but y'all making big steps. So, y'all should be proud of that, though. Y'all making big steps. Well, y'all staying out each other way. That's what Kevin Gates and Boosie doing. Staying out each other way. Cause they know if they hit, they're going to go hard. If they hit, they're going to go hard. And, and Kevin Gates got a lot of steppers around him, man. A lot of real men. And they can fight, too. You got to be it. Or they about the BWA boy. They, boy, they can fight good. You need your pistol. I have right, my gun, OB. Get into it, Kevin Gates. I got to use my gun. Get into it, Booby Black. I got to use my gun. I still got to use my gun on Booby Black. I still, Booby Black. I'm not fighting you. I don't care if you got one arm. I'm still got to, I got to put my gun on you. Yeah, just because your rank. Just cause your rank will be black. <laughs> I still got a yard. So don't think you gonna come check me. No. You gotta dude. I can't get hit by that arm. No. Oh no. And you got bodies too? Oh no. And you hard to kill too? Oh no. <laughs> we ain't fight no BWA members. Yeah, not Kane, BWA Kane. Yeah, you too. I'll talk about you too, Kane. Don't think don't think I won't talk about you, Kane, because you uh can fight and you are real with all that uh yeah, ain't nobody fight no BWA Kane. Hey, I'm probably you. The only Kane I know is the one on WWF. He was the best wrestler. Understand? Um, but nah, Kane a legend though. Kane a street legend though. You gotta understand, you gotta respect BWA Kane. Make sure y'all go follow BWA Kane on Instagram, man. Yeah, man, that's what it is, man. This video ain't gonna be too long, man. Rest in peace to Nussie. I wish I could have bought some lean from Nussie, man. Or some dog food or something, man. Some land or something. Yeah, man, I wish I could have got some lean, man. Shout out to everybody that bought some lean from Nessie or bought any type of narcotics from Nessie, man. You helped him out a lot. You the reason why he got that lean. You the reason why he did that movie with C Murder and all the other movies he said he was doing and stuff like that. You the reason. Buying his narcotics. Appreciate you, man. Uh, shout out to Kevin Gates. Shout out to BWA. Shout out to Boosie. Shout out to Young Boy. Shout out to Fredo Bang. Shout out to the whole Bat Rouge. And I appreciate you, Young Bleed. You kicked it off. You kicked it off. Yo, you kicked that thing. Kick off of the Super Bowl. Everybody got to watch that kickoff. And that was you, young bleed. So you always going to be a legend. Don't, let, don't never let them niggas tell you you ain't no legend. You the legend. You the legend. You kicked it off. You kicked it off. You, 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 you.